and we're uh, doing some instructional videos. Now I'm going to today I'm going to show you some differences in divers. Uh, lots of uh, you know, lots of different options out there. A lot of different companies that make them. Uh, a lot of different sizes. So what we like to do is, you know, today we've been doing some shallow water fishing. So we have a smaller slide diver on. Slide divers ha definitely have their time and place out here on Lake Michigan. You rig it up. It's got a little little rubber piece in right here that you can see. Everything will kind of go right through. We put on a barrel swivel. Then we've got on, I don't know, I'd say about a 10 foot leader. Uh, we got 25 pound fluorocarbon on. We're running it with spoons right now. If I'm getting into a lot of flash or fly meat rigs, I may bump it up 30 or 40. Um, I've even gone to 50, especially if we're getting into those really big salmon. What's nice about a slide diver is the fact that if I want to, you know, I've got a 10 foot leader on here with a spoon. I can put this spoon out here, flash or fly, whatever it is you're running. And if you want it farther away from your diver, farther away from the boat, you can take this diver, the slide divers, and you can pull out as much line as you want. I mean, however far behind that diver you want it. You can go 20 or 30 feet, you can go 100 feet, you can, go, you can do whatever it is you want with it. Oh, when that really clear water, sometimes that's a very good technique or a very good diver to have to get your stuff away from the boat, away from your diver, and uh, be, you know, when you're around size spooky fish, get a few bites. Um, I don't run them all the time. Um, I do prefer my slide divers more with spoons, but they do have their time and place with everything else. But it's just one of, one of the options. Now, also, fish hits that and that diver trips, that diver will slide down to that leader. So if you're one of the people that fishes solo, it is also really nice to have a shorter leader on. And you can, you know, make netting fish a lot easier for yourself by not having a long leader. Other setups that we like to use. I'm a big fan of the Dreamweaver flashers. You know, I've got one rigged up here. We're not using it today because of the depth of water that we're in. But this is a high diver. It's a little bit bigger than the one I just showed you because, you know, and this is what we use standard all the time. Um, you know, Dipsy Divers, you know, Lure Jensen's, all kinds of people make them, you know, but we like, we like these. So what I like about it is, one, you have a fixed leader. Whatever length that you tie on, you can run. Um, I kind of like longer leaders. When you do get a fish up to the boat, you get your diver to the rod tip. You have to hand it, hand it to somebody else, and they have to hand line it in the rest of the way and then net it. By the way, hand line and fish, one of my favorite things to do. So we've got the diver here it's for a trip. We use a Dreamweaver ripcord uh, shock absorber for you know, absorbing those hard king strikes. So this is another high diver setup. I've used them as low divers in shallower water to you know, get it farther away from the boat, but yet still get it down in the desired depth. My other low diver set up here, Big Mag Diver. We have wire line. We loop that line through, tie it on to each other, tie it on basically with a granny knot right here. Put a little swivel on it, kind of helps protect things, keep some stuff off of it. Trips. We run another snubber, you know, Dreamweaver rip cords. Honestly, I don't really feel like the color matters. Um, I just kind of get whatever they've got in stock. Um, diver color, I kind of, you know, a lot of people like the colored divers. I like black, clear, or the UV ones. But again, it seems like if they're biting divers, they're biting divers. Um, you can run orange, green, fire tiger, whatever color under the sun you like. I've seen them all work. I run longer leaders. You know, my low diver. I'm, my low diver, I very rarely run spoons on. I'm running flasher flies, meat rigs, big paddle flies, um, trout rigs. Sometimes I'll put plugs on them. I like heavy fluorocarbon leaders for these ones especially. You know, 40 pound, 50 pound leader. I like longer leaders, but I have seen six foot outfish, you know, what's this, probably 20 foot. You know, 
I tie on snap swivels to all of my stuff front and you know, both ends of my leader. I do that so that way I can change my leaders, change my baits really quick and easy. Today we've got a uh, trout rig on it and uh, seems to go over really well. On setup for in the water, if you're initially setting up, I like to set my high diver before my low diver. But I know a lot of people, uh, you know, you catch a fish on one or the other and uh, that becomes an issue. So I got a trout rig here. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to plop it in the water. Kind of watch it around my rigger lines. Okay, we're good. I'm going to feed out all that leader. my diver I run all of I run all of my low divers on a one setting to whatever side of the boat it'll pull it away from I bring that up to about here you know that's about the distance that the rod is out of the water I'll hit my line counter if it's not already set I got my reel you know the not engaged my thumbs on the spool a lot of people do a lot of crazy ninja moves I do not they cause tangles. So with this, I'm just gonna set it down right here on the other side of my downrigger line. Go around that. I'm gonna bring it right over here. I'm gonna put it in my rod holder. I always like my rod position like this. Engage my reel, you can see it's in there. Now to go to the depth that I like, I just loosen my drag. And I let it tick out. I like to let mine tick out fairly slowly. If I know I'm going to a certain depth, I may go a little faster but I like a nice slow tick going up. You will be amazed at how many fish you will catch 80 feet back when you think you need to be 150 feet back. Uh, sometimes these fish can teach you different distances by simply just letting it kind of slow feed out. Once I get to the desired distance back that I want it, then you just simply kind of, you know, tighten it up so it stops clicking. Another thing I like to do when a fish hits it is a fish hits this diver, you know, it starts jacking, and what I will do, I'll loosen that drag up a little bit. I'll feed out about, you know, three, four hand pulls a line, and then pull it out of my rod holder. If it's a big fish and you have a hard time pulling it out of the rod holder, you know, straight out, what's nice about these Trax Tech rod holders, straight up, Straight out, fish on. The reason I pull out some line before I pull it out, it does a couple of things. One, it eases a little bit of the tension. Two, what I think it does is it stops that fish's head from shaking so much, and it makes that fish turn and run. And that's when I want to pull it out. When that fish is shaking its head and I pull that rod out, I'm giving it a little bit of slack, and you'll tend to lose more fish that way. A little tip, help you land more fish. So now, got this out. I'm going to let that just kind of tick out as we go. I'm going to take my, my high diver. Today I've got a slide diver on. Um, I like slide divers with spoons. I like fixed divers with flashers. You know, me rigs and flies more myself, but again, teach their own. I'm going to send this back. I don't know, it's probably about 30 feet or so. Engage that. Same kind of a thing. Okay, now my clicker says 985. Reset it to zero. Put, flip that down, put my thumb on the button. I'm gonna bring it on over. A lot of people like to do this wild, crazy cast, including some of my first mate. <laughs> I just bring it all a little slide over. The rod is longer. So it's, now it's already on the other side of my high dive, or my low diver. Let it tick out real slow. Bring it over here. Set it in its spot. What it'll do is now it'll pull whatever spoon flasher I'm using over the top of my low diver. I will loosen my drag. We're good there. I will loosen my drag and I will I'll commence to do the same thing. Uh, not tighten it, loosen it. And, and I will let that slide out to whatever desired depth that I want it to go to. Today I'm gonna run it about 130 feet back. Oh. Um, I hope that helps you. That's simple diver setups and simple diver, you know, rigging 
and get them in the water and being productive with them. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Hope to see you on the water soon. Have a good one.